Hi everyone, I'm Ellie, founder of Code of the Future, and today I'm going to be continuing with the Selenium tutorial series in Python by showing you an example of an explicit way and also how to navigate in Selenium. So as usual, I'm going to put my glasses on and I'll move you onto the screen. Okay, cool. So I have set up a new Python file called Weights Example and Navigation, and this is essentially what we did in you know, all the previous videos. We have our web browser ready to set up, so driver.get Google, and that's where we're going. These important modules here are what I mentioned in the previous video about explicit weights. So if you haven't watched that video, I'd recommend watching it just because that's what I'm going to do an example on today, but I will be re-explaining everything today as well. Let's have a look. We'll get rid of import time. We don't need that today. My plan today is to show you how you can use explicit weights and as an example and also just to round up everything we've done in the previous videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of launch, we're going to launch Google, locate the search bar, search for something, visit the first page um, and then do some navigating. Okay, so we're going to go to Google and let's just launch this example, this Python file we're using. So let's launch it and hopefully it will, you know, launch Google as we expect. Awesome. Okay, so we need to do the agreeing to this again. So I did this in my previous video, which I believe was in my Selenium one. So I'll just copy the code that I did for that. So we had here, we need to, in, we need to agree to the terms and conditions. So let's just add that in there because we obviously need to agree to the terms and conditions. Essentially this section here is we've located the element at which the agree button is, it's under the ID of this, and all we're gonna do is click it. So now when I run this Python file, it's gonna launch Google, it's gonna find the, lo the element that's located at the I agree section on that's just popped up, and it's gonna accept it like it just did. So now we're going to find the search bar. Now I did this in my other video as well, so we're gonna just copy some of this code, just makes things a little bit easier if you've watched my entire tutorial series. So here we have clicking the search bar and then we're going to write something. So, and also then pressing enter. So I'm just going to copy this entire thing here and we're going to put it into our thing, into our document here. So first we need to accept the terms and conditions. That's what we've done. We're then going to click the search bar, which is here. When we inspect that element, we find that it's by under the name Q. We're going to click it and then we're going to send some keys. Now I'm going to type in code of the future python youtube because i'm going to use my own example for it just so yeah it's a little bit easier now we've done this keys dot return remember we need to import a certain module to, in order to do to write um in order to press return or enter and that very simply is from selenium dot web driver dot common dot keys import keys with a capital k awesome so what's going to happen is, and I'll run it and explain, so it's going to open Google, it's going to accept the terms and conditions, all the cookies as it were, it's going to write code of the future Python, it's going to press enter, and that's exactly what it's done here. Now we want to click this specific section here. Okay, so let's inspect this, and don't worry, I will be explaining where explicit weights will be coming in shortly, so I'll just re... We will just inspect this again, I think that's what I've just done. Let's find it, okay, it's here. So that is the H class. Okay, let's find where the actual highlighted section is. That's H3. And this is the URL. Okay, so this is essentially what we want to be clicking. So I'm just going to copy the X path here. Hopefully this will work. So we'll copy the X path. And then we're just going to say here at the bottom. So let's say we now want to um, click the first link. So we'll say first link. This is going to be driver dot find element. We're going to do X path. We're going to copy our X path into here. And that's because I've just copied it from here. We're then going to say, okay, first link dot click. Now, so here's the thing. When we do all these things here where we you know, type in code of the future Python YouTube, we do all these return keys, uh, we do all this clicking and navigating. Essentially what may happen is if your computer is lagging or it's going slow or the internet's slow for some reason, sometimes we can't locate the specific element on the screen like we would want to and that's when explicit weights come in. So essentially what may be happening is we open Google but then Google doesn't move to the next page that we want like the search bar, you know, the searching of code of the future and in which case if that isn't on the screen we can't actually access elements on that section 
on that specific website so it's basically if you're navigating between you know sections of a website clicking elements moving to different screens if that's lagging it's not always guaranteed to pick up you know it's not always guaranteed to find a specific element and how we overcome that is we do something known as an explicit wait so here we can click the first link and this may work if you're you know there's no lagging going on everything's absolutely fine but what i'm going to show you is if is how we can wait for this given element to actually appear on the screen for say like 10 seconds we'll wait 10 seconds so we're going to copy what we did in the previous video which is this section we find it just here so this is an explicit wait and i'll just put it in the middle of here so what it's saying is our element we're going to wait 10 seconds until this given element is located and our given element is located by x path so we're going to say x path and we're just going to copy this x path that we defined here and we'll input it into here so let's just change that to that so it's all okay there we go okay so it's going to wait 10 seconds until it's located and then it will click it so what we'll say is and then we want it to click it so we'll say element.click awesome so i'll just get rid of this here now finally we'll mean you know once this is done we'll then quit the driver but what i'm going to say is we're going to say accept in here and basically that means is try this if it doesn't work then quit the web browser okay so let's run this and see what happens hopefully it'll do everything we expect it to do so it'll open agree okay and then it's going to wait till the locate that thing is located and it's done it it's clicked it so now what we need to do is we need to click this agree button again <laughs> lots of cookies and terms and conditions in in the uh, on websites okay let's find that button and we'll just have to click it so i agree we have class let's have a look at the button okay so we have this button i'm just going to copy the x path because i can't see any other id i can't see anything that we could use so we'll do x path so what we'll say in here is okay we clicked it let's assign a new variable so let's say uh, agree again is going to equal driver dot find element by x path and we will put it into here and then we'll say okay agree dot click awesome so let's see if this works run it does it fast it clicks i agree awesome that's so cool so what and this is gonna start <laughs> i knew it was gonna start doing that awesome so here is you know my my code of the future channel so here's something to remember obviously we have just said okay find this element on this screen uh, agree let's find the agree button now it's essentially what i've written here let's make sure we wait enough time for that image to be located on the screen so what i'm going to do is we're going to copy this and i'm going to assign that to agree so let's make a new agree we're essentially just saying okay let's wait until we've got a different x path this time this is the one that we originally had so we'll have that one we'll input it into there okay and then i will just get rid of that we've got an error and i'll just get rid of our agree okay awesome there we go so essentially what i've said is okay let's wait again for that lo that element to definitely be located on the screen and then click it so that's something that's really important to remember if anything's happening like lagging internet's being rubbish or just things aren't loading it means that you're accounting for that and your you know selenium is waiting 10 seconds or at least 10 seconds for it to work so done it again sorry i'll mute my screen <laughs> mute my video so essentially it will give it 10 seconds if it can't find it within 10 seconds then it will time out okay so that is how we kind of use an example of how we can locate that, that is an example of how we can use explicit wait what i'm going to show you now is very simply how to navigate so let's say we have got to this section here and i want to you know go back so all i'm going to say here is just put navigating all you're going to say is driver dot back and then let's say driver dot forward and then we'll run this awesome so it's going to do exactly what we want and then it's probably going to go back and then forward it's, then it's going to go back and forward okay so let's have a look see now it's lagging and this is when it comes in really handy to hopefully find the link now if this isn't working at all we may come with an error it may say oh no it worked it worked so notice how that took a bit of time for it to load 
that is so that took a bit of time to load but it would allow us to find the element that we want and notice how it went back and forward so that is something very simple with navigating something that i forgot to mention actually in my filling in form section is how you can actually clear text so just driver.clear will essentially this will clear text so that's when you you know type something in the search bar i should have mentioned in my previous video but i thought i'd just mention it here instead because i completely forgot about it so that is how we use explicit weights they're incredibly important especially if your you know websites are lagging it just means that you can actually do your code and it will locate the specific elements that you need without any problems and that is incredibly important so that has been the video today i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please give this video a big thumbs up and if you want to support the channel even further then hit the subscribe button and the bell notification with it so you don't miss out on any future videos and also check out the donation link in the description of this video but for now i will see you all in the next video